So it's about 11.30 in the evening, and um, a few minutes ago the frequency started coming through the house again at a higher level, and um, I noticed that the resting power density is, tends to be two instead of one, and you can see that the, um, the pulsing has started again, and the readings seem to be a little bit higher. And uh, the refrigerator started cycling on as soon as this frequency came through the house. And there's a, a rhythm in the frequency of the refrigerator which varies. Um, and my suspicion or perception is that it's somehow coinciding with energy being placed into the grid by the wind turbines in this town. There's clearly a pulsed radiation coming through a home in a community that theoretically has not been funded for the smart meter grid. And it varies in intensity over the course of the day and the night, but there does seem to be a pattern and um, my suspicion is that the frequency that comes through the house in the nighttime varies depending on what's happening with the wind. Um, and it is most definitely affecting for me at least, um, my ability to sleep and to heal and to rest at night. So this is Friday evening, it's about 11.30. And uh, when a person has a fight or flight response in the evening, uh, for whatever reason, the body just doesn't switch itself back off again and let the person go back to sleep because the energy system is kind of flooded with stress hormones and it takes a while to release those out of the body. There'll be a shadow effect during the day tomorrow and actually for the next couple of days from this stress response. Um, it's most definitely, in my experience, disrupting my circadian rhythms, not just during the time when the frequency is coming through the house, but uh, for several days afterwards. This is a meter that's made in Germany by Gigahertz Solutions to detect radio frequency. It's on the uh, upper setting here, which is 199.9 microwatts per meter squared.